And again, I spoke to a million Yankee fans over the weekend. I listened to the radio shows in New York City. On the, when the Yankee fans voted, a lot of Yankee fans hated this. Mr. Shine, your turn. Well, I would not be one of those aforementioned Yankee fans. I like it. I don't love it. As you uh, hit it at six, seven years down the road, I'm not going to like this contract at all because we're going to be precisely where we were with some of those other uh, onerous deals you referred to. Incidentally, with Ellsbury, Chris, the reason he's not in Miami, he too has a no-trade clause. He's no way he's going to sign off going down to that situation. Maybe. So even if the Yankees did try to Maybe. handle him. Maybe. He, he, he wouldn't relent and go. Oh, what's that? So well, at least uh, with Miami, he can play. He's never going to play with Heath. See, uh, the problem with that argument, Bruce, would you rather be the sixth outfielder who never plays and sits on the bench, or at least get there and play, and maybe you can get pedaled to a team who could use it? That's why I'm not sure if you would have, uh, well, what the story was about that no trade. But go ahead. And I, and I think he's going to be presented with that opportunity because according to our John Heyman, the Yankees are willing to uh, pay off about half of the $68 million he's due uh, if they could facilitate a trade somewhere. But again, he does have to sign off on it. So uh, that's neither here nor there. Look, from where I'm sitting, Chris, if it's the Dodgers, if it's the Giants, if it's the Cardinals, very shrewd, forward-thinking organizations, and Stan is playing there, we're not really having this d discussion about if this is great for baseball, whether the Yankees are the quote-unquote evil empire again, that little engine that could, that overachieving group was a once-in-a-lifetime type of thing. We weren't going to see that regardless. This prior to the stand trade, they made it to Game 7 of the ALCS. They fired their manager, and in most people's minds, mostly from the anti-Yankee sentiment, it was championship or bust, fair or not. Now listen, this isn't the New England Patriots with Tom Brady acquiring Peyton Manning where there isn't a need. The Yankees aren't pushing out Ruth and Gehrig at designated hitter. They're pushing out Jacoby Ellsbury and Clint Frazier. There is a spot at designated hitter to put one of these guys. He don't the want a DH, Bruce. Spain doesn't want a DH. Not a judge. Don't you think they're going to DH? They're going to play the quarter well, outfielders, Bruce. He Stan's not DH once in a while, maybe. He's not DH. He's not the agent. Don't bring up the DH. Chris, That's not that happening. Remain, Chris, that, that remains to be seen. Stan said he wanted to come here. He'll play where they tell him they want to where they tell him to play. We'll see how that works out. Be that as it may, there is still a hole. There is still an area where you could elongate a, a, what is already a potent lineup. The idea is to outscore the opposition. Again, I think that if had he landed on another team, it wouldn't be, oh, the Dodgers would be the Dodgers again. This isn't the Yankees getting Gary Sheffield after A-Rod and Giambi and all of that. The Yankees aren't even going to have a top three payroll. They have four guys making real money on the roster. They are in their window of contention and right Ross now. And Ross Frazier, they I thought, they, lo I thought, they, I thought they loved Frazier. They traded to get him from Cleveland. I thought they loved Frazier. What happened to him all of a sudden? I thought they loved him. They probably... They still do love Frazier, and whether they decide to utilize him in a trade for pitching or something else, more power to them. Uh -huh. They got themselves a premier talent in the prime of his career right. to put on the biggest and how stage many years, of And Bruce, how many Mr. years Manasseh. has he had? Maybe he's been hurt his whole career. How many years has he had of the premier talent that you're talking about? One. One. And he's got upwards, One. He's got upwards of 300 home runs. He's a four-time All-Star. He's 28 years old. I'll tell you. All right, we'll get to you.